All right, 5.6, ideal guesses and KMT. KMT, what is KMT, you ask? Why, I'm so glad you did. KMT stands for Kinetic Molecular Theory. And Kinetic Molecular Theory, KMT, describes what are known as ideal gases. Okay, so we're going to have to memorize a few things about ideal gases. One, when we describe an ideal gas, we assume the gas particles have no volume, that the particles themselves take up no space, right? We know that a gas takes up the space of its container, but for an ideal gas, we're going to assume that the individual gas particles have no actual volume. We're also going to assume that these particles do not have any forces of attraction to one another, right? No intermolecular forces. We're going to assume that the gas particles move in random, continuous motion, and that the gas particles are perfectly elastic. That means they lose no speed after they collide with either one another or the walls of their container. So when they bump into each other, right, here's a gas particle, here's a gas particle, and well, they bump into each other, we're going to assume that they just bounce right back at the same exact speed in the opposite direction. Now we have to understand that an ideal gas is theoretical, doesn't really exist. It's used to predict the behavior of real gases. And these assumptions, number one through four that we made, are not actually true of real gases. All right, so real gases, we're gonna talk about KMT versus real. So one, gas particles have no volume, real gases, the particles do take up a little bit of space. Assumption two, the gas particles do not attract each other. There actually are some forces of attraction with uh, real gases. And generally, the larger the particles, the stronger the forces of attraction. Gas particles, remove, uh, gas particles move in random continuous motion. This is the closest to being true probably, but real gases, their intermolecular forces affect this. So like here, right, you have a particle moving this way and another particle moving that way. As they pass each other, they might either be attracted to one another or repel one another, depending on their orientation at the moment. And four, about them being elastic. The real gas particles are not 100% elastic. Okay, important questions. It's going to be a very common question. When do real gases behave like ideal gases? One, when they have a very high temperature. Why? Because they're moving faster. The faster they're moving, the less attraction there's going to be between any particles. Two, when they have a low pressure. Because they're further apart, less forces of attraction between molecules. All right, these are the big ones. High temperature, low pressure. If you know these, pretty much going to be good on this. However, when they have lower intermolecular forces, whether they're nonpolar or smaller particles, they'll also behave more like ideal gases. But the big ones, high temperature, low pressure. Question time. Simple, simple, just kind of simple recall questions. If you're having trouble answering them, go back to the notes or watch the video again. All right, that brings us to the end. See you guys.